show you some things I ordered from Amazon to review for you guys I'm so excited sorry I just moved the table <laughs> pay no mind to my nails I just cleaned them up really well so they are red a little bit but I went into a really detailed cleaning of my cuticles and stuff so anyways I got this in the mail I ordered this a couple days ago and it already came in Okay, so the first thing I ordered is this here. I just got this in the mail uh, yesterday, I think it was, the day before. Um, this is a nail drill from uh, Ajubis. Um, this is model YKT2067. This is a 2500 RPM or 25,000 RPM. Looks pretty cool. So I'll be reviewing that for you guys. Now, some of this stuff is not nail related. But I was excited to try it, so. All right. The next thing that I ordered that I got in the mail is this. The nail training hand. Now, guys, I know, I know a lot of you guys like the silicone hands. But I actually like this hand. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to get to and put the nails on and not worry about it being silicone and being ruined. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Ordered this from Amazon as well. I'm thinking it was $26 for this, but this is what it looks like. And it's got the nail tips with it, so it's pretty cool. And I really like this one. It looks really well. Now, the last one I had, I actually broke it, um, but it had come from um, AliExpress. It did okay. It worked really well, but I had a hard time keeping the tips in it. So I'm hoping that this one will be a lot better, but it's a... Uh, Amazon, I'll leave these things linked down below for you guys so you can try them out. If you're first starting to do nails, this is really perfect. Um, the silicone hands are much more expensive, of course. Um, but this one is only $26, easy to start off with, and I feel like it's a lot easier to use um, than the silicone hands because it's really hard to file on silicone hands because you take the chance of ruining the silicone. And with these nails, you can literally just pop them off, put new nails on it, and you're done. It's easy to apply uh, tips to it. It's easy to uh, put forms on it. So definitely give it a try. If you're just starting out and you're looking at something very affordable, definitely give that a try. Now, the next thing I have is not nail related. So, okay, so the first thing here I've got is, and this all came from Amazon as well. Sorry, so much noise. Super, super excited to give this a go, though. I'm going to see what I can do with it. But anyways, I've got these folds here. If you want to add them to your resin, um, you get different colors. I haven't seen this color yet, though, like the red and stuff. So I'm really excited to try that one. Um, you get these coasters here. You get, can get them to where you have the hole in the middle of them if you want. Or you can do the full ones. Those are huge. I was thinking they was going to be smaller, but those are actually pretty cool. You can also use these uh, to paint on as well. Like if you're doing nail, uh, nail art, you can uh, paint on these. The only thing I advise you to do, though, is if you do paint with these raisin plates, I advise you to put a layer of plastic over top of them. That way the gel polish or whatever you're using will not ruin your, your palettes here. Um, I learned that the hard way. I have ruined so many due to um, not putting something over top of them. You can put aluminum foil over it. You can just put plastic on it. Something like that just to keep it from getting ruined. Now, this I actually ordered, got from Walmart. This is like one of those um, painter pens. This one is gold, metallic gold. And what I do is just outline the edge of it. And that works out really well. I'm excited. 
Alright, let's see. The next ones I got are these here. Now, I'm really excited for this one. This one came in a kit with several. Um, so, I'll make sure to leave the links to each one of these uh, molds for you guys. Now, they have a little heart, which I think is super cool. Because if you're looking at something, you know, kind of smaller to paint on, that'll be really well. Um, you can get the... Um, uh, what these are are their boxes. So what you would do is like fill this and then Or not this part. I'm sorry. You'll fill this part This part of it and then this will go on top and it makes a cute little trinket box if you want You can use these for monomer. They are a little big for monomer, but they can be used to hold your monomer They can be used to hold um, Whatever you want in it actually or if you just want to do a um, little jewelry box and then, of course, like I said, it would fit on top like that. Super nice. Um, here is another one. I'm really, really, really excited to do this one. But now, the only thing I have to tell you is if you're doing these, you're going to have to have a lot of um, silicone, or the red silicone, listen to me, a lot of resin. Like this one, you would pour in here. And then when you turn it over, you got these little pockets in it. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, oh, not that one. My bad. You would fill this one. Oh, no, wait a minute. Nope, I guess it is this one that goes on top of that one. I say it probably fits like that, maybe. Hmm, that's a little different, isn't it? But it is super cute. I do wish it didn't have this on the inside of it, but... Um, it would work, you know, if you want to use it for a little jewelry box or if you just want to hold uh, rhinestones in it or whatever you want to put in it. But it would fit like that. I think so. Yeah. Just like that. So that's pretty cool, ain't it? I don't know, it just seems weird the top does. Seems like it should have fit into these or something like that. Anywho. That's pretty cool. Or even if you just wanted to do that, I guess you could... You can do a lot of different things, but we're going to give these a go. And then you have this one here, which would sit like this. You'd fill the inside, and then it's got these little pockets. And then, of course, that would go on top like that. Pretty cool. I do like that one. I do wish these wasn't in it, though. I was thinking that these didn't have this in it. That it was just like a bottom without the inside thing. But. Oh, it doesn't It does not do those. You're just doing the box. Okay. That's cool. I was thinking that this was going to imprint it. I'm so silly. I'm blonde. <laughs> I'm so blonde. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. And then again, like I said, on this one, it would be the same way. So this would not come out in it. It's just a regular box. And then you just set that on top. Okay. This here, though, that's a lot. Be pretty solid, too. Okay, so the next thing I got here is this is the resin that I'm getting. This is 32 ounces. I'm thinking this was like $25. So this is the clear, this is the hardener. And this is the crystal clear resin. I'll have to read how to do this because it does not come with any instructions. I know you use this one first, but then you put this on it too. The hardener. I'll have to try to see. Let's see. It tells you some specifications. Uh, the uses mix equal part resin and hardener. Stir each part and then stir together three to five minutes. Add pigment if desired. The surface must be dry and free of dust. It's recommended to wear protective gloves. Use soap and water to clean. 30 minutes work time, 24 hour cure time. That's a long time. Anyways, like I said, I'll make sure to link everything down below for you guys so that way you can um, check it out looks pretty cool though looks really clear so I'm hoping that it works great we might try this in this video I don't know I might just do a separate video I 
then the last thing that I got was this here. This is a heat gun to use with these uh, resin molds. Uh, but it just kind of pushes it around. Anyways, so like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. I'm really excited to do this for you all. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like this little haul, sorry, it's so short. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I want to try so many different things, guys. Lord mercy. I have a habit of switching hobbies <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a good day. You know, bless everybody today. Hope hope things are going your way. Hope you're being blessed today. Give thanks and gratitude for all the blessings that you get in your life. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, guys, I love you all. I'm going to go and start on some new videos for this year coming. Um, like I said, you know, you all let me know what you want to see and what else you want me to do. What's the most thing that you like? Uh, but, yeah, guys, I love you all. Don't forget, I have a giveaway going on right now for the Yo Yo Yogi gel polish kit. And then we have the um, uh, Burano full kit. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification so you get all my latest uploads. And, you know share my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye!